Right. Okay, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Thank you for joining us here today. Uh, my name is Senator Elijah Reichlin Melnick, and I'm here with many of my partners in government um, and the family of firefighter Jared Lloyd to announce the introduction of legislation to rename a section of State Route 45 right here, and we see the fire trucks going out, and that is just what Jared did. But we will be introducing legislation to rename a section of State Route 45 from Eckerson Road uh, at the border of Spring Valley all the way up to New Hempstead Road in honor of firefighter Jared Lloyd, who last year paid the ultimate price and gave his life to save countless others at the Evergreen Court adult home. And there is no more fitting tribute that we can give than to rename this piece of the state highway system in his honor so that forever after, when anybody drives along this busy road, they will know the name of Jared and they will know what he did. And we need to honor his memory, not just with this naming, as significant as it is, but to continue working to pass legislation so that his sacrifice will not have been in vain. And so that we are making sure that there are penalties, criminal penalties, when people violate the law and put the lives of first responders and firefighters at risk. So that buildings that are in violation of building and zoning codes have consequences for that because we know that Jared gave his life to save people and we do not want that life to have been given in vain. So for now we are here today to honor his memory, to honor the work he did and to announce the naming as introduction of legislation to name this part of the state highway system in his honor. Um, so it's now my pleasure um, and a somber honor to introduce Jared's mom Ms. Sabrail Davenport, to say a few words. It's April. I'm so sorry. It's April. Um, good afternoon. I just want to thank Senator Melnick, the um, assemblymen that stand behind me, the entire Rockland County, for even considering renaming the street after Jared. We all know that Jared loved volunteering. He loved fire service and um, I think that the county will appreciate driving down Route 45 from Eckerson to New Hampshire Road. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we're going to have Jared's dad, Mr. Calvin Lloyd, uh, say a word or two as well. Yes, uh, I'd like to thank everyone that's involved with this. Um, we really appreciate it as a family. Um, it means a lot to us. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, I'm his aunt, one of his aunt, Calvin Lloyd's sister. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you so much, everybody who participate, hands on, appreciate, grateful. Sorry. <laughs> We will stand here together to make sure this will never, never happen again. And thank you all. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. That was my baby. Sorry. Thank you. Stay well, healthy, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> these these are incredibly tough issues and so it, it's i'm going to introduce um two amazing colleagues in the state assembly assemblyman zabrowski and assemblyman lawler who are sponsoring the bill in the assembly to, to talk about this thanks senator and let me first echo both your words and the words we quite frankly just heard with a lot of emotion. The most important thing that we can do is change the culture of noncompliance and make sure that everyone realizes that code enforcement, the fire code, the zoning code is not just words on a page, but it is the mechanism 
that keeps our firefighters safe and our citizens safe. And we need to do everything possible, legislatively, from the state down to the local governments, so that we protect the folks that run in burning buildings to protect us. And what we're doing here today is just a small part of that. It's a small part of the remembrance of somebody that paid the ultimate sacrifice, that was a brother of a lot of the folks that stand with us here today, and that was a key part of saving dozens, if not hundreds of lives on that day in March over a year ago. And when my colleagues and I sat and talked about ways that we could remember Jared, certainly we did what we could to work with the local firematic community to make sure that his name was up on the wall in Albany. And I had the pleasure of speaking before that assembly several months ago. But also, everyone here locally should remember his name, and not just remember it, but reflect on what his name meant and the sacrifice and the dedication to all of his fellow neighbors and what that meant. And that's why we talked about naming a stretch of a state highway in his honor. Now, some folks might wonder why this stretch of highway. And certainly, Jared is a member of the Spring Valley Fire Department. And so when we talked about what would be a fitting tribute, certainly Route 59 came to mind. But Route 59, the entirety of it is named for the Korean War, is the Korean War Veterans Memorial Highway. And we will look at other parts of 45, thinking back to another tragedy, the tragedy of Sandra L. Wilson. That section of 45 is named after Miss Wilson, who was a dedicated member of our community and was tragically murdered. She worked at the Finkelstein Library. And we came to this section here. All the fire departments in Rockland County are connected by a common lifeblood of protecting their fellow, fellow citizens. This stretch of highway well-traveled, certainly known to Jared and his family and the firematic community. And we figured that this was a spot that was unnamed, that would be a tribute to Jared. So right now we stand in what will eventually be known when Senator Reichlin Melnick, Assemblyman Lawler, and myself push this bill through the state legislature as the Jared Lloyd Memorial Highway. We hope that it will be a lasting reminder of his actions and his service. And we hope that it will serve as both a point of memorial but also a point of reflection and a point of action to always keep our firefighters in mind and, of course, Jared's ultimate sacrifice in mind. Thanks so much to Jared's family for being here with us today. We know that it's not easy for you to come here, but we hope it gives some solace to you that you know that he will always live on in our minds, hearts, and minds as we know he lives on in yours. Thank you so much. Good morning. Uh, I want to thank Senator Reichland Melnick and Assemblyman Zabrowski uh, for, for putting this forward. Um, we've said many times uh, there are so many honors that we can bestow upon Jared and every one of them deserving and every one of them necessary and important so that we can remember his service and his sacrifice to our community. And the fact is that he, along with his fellow firefighters, saved over 100 lives on that fateful night. And it was because he was willing to give up his own. And that can never be understated. And when we look at this recognition, which is a really wonderful tribute to his memory, the reality is that it's a tribute. The most important thing we can, can do to remember Jared is to ensure that it never happens again and to ensure that no other firefighter and no other family has to endure this. Ms. Davenport and Mr. Lloyd are tremendous people who have stood tall in the face of real adversity 
and real hurt and loss. They've had to stand up and speak out to ensure that we as a government do the right thing. That we as a government make sure that that never happens again in the village of Spring Valley. And that takes courage. And it takes strength. And it takes resolve. And it comes from a place of love for their son and his memory. And I want to commend them. I want to thank them. Um, and I want to let them know that we are always here, all of us, to support you and your family, your grandchildren, whatever you need. Because your son did something that very few do. He laid down his life for our community. So God bless you all. And again, this is uh, but a small token of our appreciation and something that we can do to remember Jared. But there is a lot more work to be done, and we will do it. Uh, good morning. I just want to thank Senator Reichland Melnick, Assemblyman Zabrowski, Assemblyman Lawler for uh, introducing this legislation, which will serve as uh, an eternal memorial to Jared Lloyd uh, and his, the sacrifice he gave. His legacy will live on not just in the naming of the street, of the roadway for him, but in the many lives that he saved on that fateful day last March. Thank you. So I just want to thank everybody again for coming. And, and Jared's family, this is this cannot be easy. And we're, we're here for you as a community and know that you've got people from Rockland and beyond who, who know his sacrifice. I was at his memorial at the stadium and to see people from all over New York State there celebrating his life was something amazing. So we, we are grateful for his, for his service and we're grateful for the service of everybody here today. I know that there are folks uh, in our audience today or watching who were at the fire along with Jared. And, but for the grace of God and good luck, they might have been a victim as well. And we know that every day there are calls that go out and people who are not getting paid put their lives on the line to protect all of us. There is nothing more dedicated and more selfless than that. And as legislators, we have to always support that, and we will.